So I chose to teach in Exco because I want to be an educator in the future. And um, this was just a really perfect opportunity um, for me to play that role in the college classroom and also, you know, like develop all my skills and things like that, like organization and professionalism, balancing everything. Um, and I think that through teaching in Exco, I've really become more passionate about about students being teachers as well. And I think that even if they're not teaching in Exco, like it's something that they can do in their own classrooms, that they have so much knowledge and it's not something that everyone has. Like a lot of students will have a, a, like a passion or a hobby that others don't and they have that knowledge and they should be able to share that because that's something really special. And like, you don't need a degree to be teaching others about these things. Um, so what else did I say here? Oh, giving the students like the, pow the power and agency over what they would like to include in the curriculum and like what they see as valuable because there are a lot of holes in academia and in, um, you know, like the class schedule, there's a lot of things that are missing there and students can fill in those holes. And especially with topics that aren't deemed like, aren't seen as traditionally academic, like those are still very valuable and students should be able to teach that. And yeah, I totally agree with you, Marissa. I really liked what you just said, um, especially about how um, like it gives us this power over our education, especially since we don't like all have degrees. And I feel like it creates like more of like equal opportunities for everyone instead of this very like stark, like professor student behavior that we have throughout college. It creates us, um, it just like makes us all on the same level, I feel like more. Um, so I think that's what I wrote. I, I don't really remember like what I wrote in here, but um, yeah. And I think it just also gives us like an opportunity to get like involved, like in school, especially remotely, you know, cause it's like so hard to be able to like get involved in like clubs. And I feel like clubs can even be kind of like flaky sometimes and you don't know when they're meeting and like, uh. um, so yeah, I feel like this is just like a great way for us to just become involved used to or like one of my seasonal jobs is working with aim high aim high is like a nonprofit that works with middle school students and like they strongly encourage like the middle school students to come back and actually become teachers um and kind of just like i never had the opportunity because i'm very good at paperwork um so i ended up going straight into administrative work instead of going into a teaching position but I actually got to help a lot of like high school students and college students like throughout their teaching experience during these five weeks. It's like five days a week for five weeks. And it's just like watching them made me realize like how good of an experience that like this is for people to like just like develop themselves as a person, especially at like an age where you're still developing who you are and stuff. So my motivation came from, and I, I was actually working on a research project for the from a professors from my department. And um, I was helping out, like they hired me for that. And so then while doing focus groups, I realized that not everybody has the opportunity to open up about politics and about their beliefs and what they get to do in SFSU, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of extreme politics in this, in this university and so what I so this is what the class was it was supposed to be the middle ground for everybody to come together and to be able to express what they want to express about politics well that's really cool I feel like um like there there aren't a lot of just like safe spaces for people to be able to come and like express like their opinions and their thoughts about politics even like with their friends and their family um and so I think that's cool that like you created a space where it's like no matter what like you can come and you can just like voice what you have to say and like everybody can come together and just like support one another like no matter what you know um and I just I don't know I like that Thank you. Yeah, and like I based it off of like being able to the, the way I've been learning at in college was that um, being uh, like for almost forced to think deeper about my own opinions and what we want and like what I think and like what I believe is correct. And so that's how I based my class off of, of like playing devil's advocate for both sides 
and then being able to like help them think a little bit more deeper about what they what they think and about their opinions and how politics and this country should work um but originally my kind of goal with teaching was a bit more selfish than it is now um because i i learned from like coaching you know little league sports and things like that that um teaching other people that is the best way to reinforce it in your own head um so when i wanted to teach about serial killers and criminal profiling and psychology and things like that i felt that was just going to be a good way to improve my own knowledge for it for the classes that i'd be taking mm -hmm. yeah i just think students should have that opportunity to teach because they're so much connected to it regardless of how it benefits themselves or others it's for, uh, at least in my perspective, you know, one, it, it's helping the individual in basis of like public speaking, uh, reinforcing ideas or, you know, breaking those down or breaking down dispositions and learning new things. Mm -hmm. I learned so much just from other students and friends because where I grew up, I had such little outside world knowledge of experiences and different things people would go through that then coming here, I had to learn that from other people. I couldn't just pick up a book and learn that. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity without, you know, getting to explore and, and be around them. Um, I actually agree with the whole learning from other people thing. You can't learn that in a book. You can't learn people or so, how society works in a book. You have to actually be able to talk to them and learn from them. And I think another, another thing is like, regardless if we're teaching a class, we're also learning from other people while teaching a class. So I think I agree with you on that. Yeah, I definitely feel like you can learn so much just from learning about like the way that other people learn, you know, and like the other people that the way that other people retain information and like the way that what people pay attention to and what they don't. I feel like that just like makes you so much more of like a well-rounded person and like just more aware and I don't know.